Hearts pound and blood pressure soars under the stress many people live with. A Los Angeles doctor is among the latest to show an adverse relationship between stress and the immune system. It's time out in the assistant chief's office. This is stress control as practiced by the 54-year-old administrative director for the Los Angeles Police Department. A thermometer taped to a finger confirms Chief David Dotson's hands are getting warmer as he relaxes. A few minutes of peace and quiet keeps his blood pressure under control without the medication he once required. There's nothing new about biofeedback instruction. It is a series of exercises through which patients can hear or see the reactions of their bodies to their thoughts. But Dr. David Velkoff is among several researchers to show an apparent new benefit from stress control to natural immunity, that complex system of defenses so essential to good health. Feel If we feel safe and optimistic and more hopeful, we have a different biochemistry that affects the immune system as opposed to somebody that feels hopeless and looks at every event or problem as a catastrophic event and feels very pessimistic. Eight of ten patients whose blood was measured for killer cells, one element of the immune system, showed greatly increased defenses when they felt in control, as opposed to when they were tense or insecure. Jane Ryder Maples is among the study subjects. She has her own measure of immune system response to stress. It connects you physically and mentally, and you just are stronger. You're calm, but you're powerful. And that's what it's done for me. I don't get sick. I mean, I just don't get sick. Not every disease is caused by stress or tension, but stress or, or physiological tension reactions in the body will influence every illness and make us more susceptible to diseases. The laboratory tests are only beginning to confirm what some in medicine and many outside it have felt for years. The effects of mind over microbe could help explain why diseases progress at different rates, or why not all exposed to contagious disease come down with it. Anger is no longer Chief Dotson's prime motivator. He works hard at keeping cool to prevent stress from making him sick. Even though I can't address the problem at its root, I can address what it is doing to me in, in physical terms. The source of tension doesn't matter, doctors say, and now there is early evidence that erasing stress may actually protect the body from infections.